Hello everyone, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your daily tarot reading and it will be for Sunday the 9th of May 2021 for all signs. So as always it may or may not resonate with you, you decide what resonates. And remember my readings can last a few days longer than when they're released. Okay, so what do we have please angels? What is the message people need to hear the most for around Sunday the 9th of May 2021? Perfect timing. <laughs> Love the energy. Okay. Perfect timing. Okay. What do people need to hear the most, please? Message people need to hear the most. Thank you. Okay, two cards there. I have romance and celebrations. Well, that's nice. Okay, so let's pull some cards and see what we get. Okay, what is the message people need to hear, please? Angel Spirits Guides. It will be for Sunday, the 9th of May 2021 message people need to hear the most thank you flew out hierophant card of taurus the nine of one uh nine of wands yes nine of wands is there and the chariot I've pulled two cards there, so let's go with it. I've got the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Cups. Change. Feels good change. Nine of Wands is clarifying <laughs> with the Ace of Cups. You see where this is going, don't you? And we have the Chariot with the Five of Cups. Mm. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. I love it. Guys, you felt something was over, but it's not. Yeah. Something may have finished. Uh, you could have been mourning the loss of something or thinking something was ended. You may have been regretting something looking back. But the message here, and it's interesting, I've got two cups behind, which is all full of potential. I've got two cups here in the really lovely aspects. Um, there's definitely an energy that all is not over. Something is not over. But if you keep on looking at that negative, the emptiness, then you'll just get more emptiness back. It feels there's a, an opportunity to turn something around. There's a turning, turning something around because the chariot is, it feels like, no, I'm not going to accept this. I'm going to take the reins and overcome whatever challenge stands in my way. And it feels to get somebody back. It feels to get somebody back. Someone is not accepting defeat of a situation. And that's a beautiful thing. Because again, the Six of Swords, and I don't know why I'm starting over here because it feels right. We have the Six of Swords, which is about healing. Which is a card of moving from troubles to calmer waters. And somebody who's not looking back, but actually by their actions, they're moving forward. You might be wanting to make something right here. It's a lovely energy. And for some of you, there will be an opening of some kind, um, something to do with perfect timing, a window of opportunity where you are just intuitively led to take action or somebody is around you. It could be you or so. It can also be, you know, somebody very close to you. So it feels like a relationship energy where it feels all is not over.
But if we keep on mourning something that's gone, then that's what we put the energy out. It's gone. It's gone. Um, and that's how, you know, we get that energy back. Whereas there's definitely an energy of this is worth fighting for. And there will be an opportunity, it feels in this situation, to take control. Yeah. Because somebody is wanting to get in contact with somebody and it feels in this situation express their feelings of love and hoping that it's going to bring change. Because, you know, this Hierophant is, can be about committed relationships, it can be about marriage as well. Um, but it's, it's also a card of wisdom. Acting wisely by intuitively doing what feels right, you know. There's definitely this energy of... You know, if you've been asking questions, you know, what's it all about? Why is this happening to me? How do I move forward? You know, all of these kind of energies, you know, that we, we do ask God, angel, spirits, God divine. Um, it feels for some of you that you are intuitively being guided to take action in the hope that you're going to bring change to a situation. Because this was a, a relationship that meant something. And there's regret here, regret of something maybe finishing, regret of your actions, feeling down, but it feels somebody wants to just fight for it. You know, I will say, and I don't know why, you know, I get, I get messages, you know, and it's, it's one of those things that it, it feels for some of you, the messages don't give up. You might be knocked back the first time. You might have a lukewarm reception the first time that you speak to somebody about this and express your love and feelings, but the messages don't give up. There's a kind of, there's a kind of perseverance energy here. It's a test. You're being tested. Um, but it definitely feels in this energy that there is hope in terms of finding renewed love. opening a new door with this person. And the nine of wands symbolizes it's not over yet. It's worth the perseverance. A 10 is a completion. So the nine of wands is definitely signifying it's not over yet. Uh, it feels somebody wants to, there's an energy, you or the other person in your life, whoever this resonates for, it's worth fighting for. And that's what I'm getting really strongly. Now, the beautiful thing is, and the, the message is don't be disheartened if you get back the, get knocked back the first time. Uh, don't be disheartened if, you know, you have this lukewarm reception. Don't worry about that. The message is there's perseverance that's needed here. It's worth fighting for. Because there's definitely an energy of, of healing healing something, because the cards on the table, we have romance and celebration. And I feel that is a celebration, healing something that you thought was lost and bringing change, moving from choppy waters to calmer waters. So I'm gonna pull I'm going to use this deck. I'm going to pull a final card. Let me just shuffle. Let's clarify that Six of Swords. Let's clarify that Six of Swords, please. Yeah. The King of Cups. I mean, that's a lovely energy. Now, the King of Cups is a great energy of mastery. The mastery of emotional situations. 
it's also about where there has been choppy waters there's been choppy waters we can see the choppy waters here he understands how to rise above it you know and bring emotional stability and balance back to a situation that could have been challenging so there's definitely an energy of yeah it just feels very beautiful he is a symbol of love compassion listening you know good listener compassionate caring energy but i definitely feel in this situation it's a scorpio energy as well um we have cancer here we have Pisces, Gemini, Taurus, so might be signs that resonate with some of you in this reading. But it feels that there is an opportunity to rise above what has been choppy times and bring balance back. Rebalancing the boat. That's what I'm getting, rebalancing the boat. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm getting the love boat. <laughs> I wasn't going to say it because I know it's... Yeah, it's, it's coming into my mind. <laughs> oh, corny as ever, sometime, never mind. We have pure intention. <laughs> pure intention. The fairy of manifestation will help you use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intention and for the highest good of all. Yeah. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful day for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.